is one of the most successful female rockers of all time. For more than 30 years, she's been turning out hits and blazing a trail for women in the music industry. She won four consecutive Grammys and has sold 22 million records. And her video for Love is a Battlefield was one of the first to successfully blend a story-driven and a music video performance. And she writes about it all in her new book. It's called Between a Heart and a Rock Place. Pat Benatar, good morning. Good morning. You know, what's surprising, I think, for many people who will read this book is that it is about a woman who had so much balance, who is has been with the same man in a marriage for 20, mm -hmm. but nine years, mm -hmm. with two beautiful daughters, and yet a rock star. I mean, how did you, when so many have not, emerge out of this profession unscathed? Well, I'd like to say that I was really smart and that I had something <laughs> that had to do with it. I just, I, I don't know. I just think that um, it's personality. Um, that's the way that Spider and I are. It's the way that we met. And we were really kind of working class kids, so it stays with you the whole time. And it just didn't really have any effect. And I had the luxury of having my um, support with me all the time, my husband. He, we were together, so it wasn't like being a female out on the road with all the pitfalls and everything that happens. I had my support right with me the entire yeah. time. In fact, in fact, since you brought him up, let's, let's, let me ask you about this, because <laughs> this book is pretty much, a, a, in many ways, a love letter to this uh -oh. to this man, your husband. You call him Spider. His Spider. real name is Neil Giraldo, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he was your collaborator. Absolutely. Yes. Songwriter, producer, mm -hmm. lead guitarist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started the band together in 1979, and um, when he walked in the door and I saw him, besides all the fabulous chemical and physical attributes <laughs> that we had together musically, it was perfect. It was exactly what I had been hearing in my head, and and uh, like I say in the book, he, he was the one who was the catalyst, and he was able to help me bring it all together. So we began the whole thing together. And, and you, you write, somewhere in the distance, the Alleluia chorus was playing when you first saw him. <laughs> I froze in my track. Something shot through my entire being. Every nerve ending yeah. in my body lit, lit up. I mean, this is a, sets a pretty high bar for your, for your daughters. Yes, Pat. I know. <laughs> I tell him, don't settle, just marry for love, don't be stupid, you know. And you weren't stupid. Together, you marched on, and you did so much, including the, uh, the, one of the first music videos yes. ever mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the, you have a story about that, because, you know, nobody knew how to do this. Right, well, me, including us. I mean, <laughs> no, it was great. We were the second video ever played on MTV. Um, it was in August of 1981. And, um, you know, we shot the, they called us up uh, about three months before, and, and they said they had this new idea. None of us had any idea where this was going. We thought, okay, that's kind of interesting, but truthfully, I don't think anybody expected it. And uh, the first week that it was played in August, after that week, we couldn't go anywhere anymore. It, wow. it, it had changed the world. It changed yeah. your world, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet, this was a time, and there, was still, and there still is, but there still was a tremendous amount of sexism in, oh, in yeah. the profession and throughout the world. Right. And at one point, when you actually became pregnant, mm -hmm. you were told to hide your pregnancy. Yeah, I mean, this is inc incredibly hard to believe for people today to, to understand, especially since it seems to be like a prerequisite for celebrity net right now. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, yeah, they literally, I, they, you know, they didn't want us, they didn't, it was bad enough that I was married, but to actually be pregnant, it ruined the whole sex symbol image and everything, and I mean, it was, it was incredible, and um, it was, it was just one of the things in the long laundry list of all the sexist things that they did while we, while we were together. And yet, and yet, you nevertheless, despite that environment, you were bold. You, you know, your music, and that's, I think, what, what really mm -hmm. happened. You seized with this music something that I think women really mm -hmm. needed. Where did this boldness come from? I, I, I think it's just grown up on Long Island, you know, I mean, we just, you know, we came from a working class family and you were scrapping all the time and it was just kind of the way that it was, but in the book I mentioned this, this story about how, um, you know, I just, I grew up and, and you had to kind of fight for your position all the time and then as it went on and in in, in traveling to radio stations and things like that, there was always some kind of, um, you know, some kind of producer or some programmer that would, you know, just, you know, tap his leg and say, why don't you sit down here mm -hmm. and we'll see if we can get that record played. So it just kind of fueled everything. And we were the first, my age group was basically the first of the young women who were going to try and put the, the um, ideology of the women's movement into practice. Well, you did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> for so many of us. Pat Benatar, thank you so thank much you. for your music over the years thank and for joining us this morning. Thank and the book you. is lovely. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. And the book is called Between a Heart and a Rock Place. And coming up next, another star, Jane Polly, joins us. She's going to be sharing the story of two women 
who have taken the road less traveled. But first, this is today on NBC.